What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um. Wake has returned. Oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh. I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the Cult of the Tree? <laughs> oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book! Exciting! Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> you're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm. Guilty. 
They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. I've got to head out for a special mission for Alan soon. You've got things covered here. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor, a way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Rose Marigold left these lunchboxes for me. Alan Wake apparently told her to. I guess I owe her one. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? page says the record will open the overlap, or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother, 
did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Saga stood still, emptying her mind, focusing, breathing in, breathing out. She aimed the rifle, ready for the kill shot.
It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even, or changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. from Come to the emergency muster point. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Archie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life, and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners.
Why are we out here again? Artie said we'd be safe on the porch. Safe from what? I bet Tor is having one of his drunken fits again. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Anga's remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it.
Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus' remorse now? Beauty is a young girl in love. A rock and roll clings in. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus' remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here.
Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom liked to talk. <laughs> Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Thanks.
Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. Key fob's no good without power. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. 
And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. be opened on this side. Power's off. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed.
There. Power's back on. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer. A fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her. Afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close, to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things. Touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever there would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on?
auch Saga. I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? A power station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Is a romantic, huh? A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears, to corrupt them.
Anger's Remorse, by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. The dark water pressed itself into her. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now see the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No, better. She sank into dark water, into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Sure. Tor is not becoming a Taken, but Cynthia is definitely corrupting him. Trying to keep him away from me? Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken.
good. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. On my face forever, we came to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. The overlap is at the front. The lightning and hubris are Go again. Am I going in circles?
what was on <laughs> The wall just disappeared. The light did that? the others. I need to reach the center. It was too late. Cynthia, she's here. A dead end.
locked. The key has to be nearby.
writing a story. Back again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Dark water. It's so dark! be a way to get the power back on. This is 
Here, Tor. Hold on. Apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here.
Sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? <sighs> nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. My face forever seeking to be whole, driven by passion, raging like a storm, with thunder and lightning and the hubris I was born, blood hot and vain, I risk to take it all, blind to your pain, your wounds. Down for you can rely
despair, an ocean of desolation, fighting for air, my swan song, be done, you can't Dive through the dark to find a light on the other side